Hey everybody, today I'm going to lead you through the hardware setup of a Night Owl wireless NVR system, or WNVR for short. Pay close attention to the on-screen text, which will provide some important tips. Now let's get started. Carefully open the box and remove the two inner boxes. One is for the WNVR and its accessories, and the other is for the camera and its accessories. Keep the camera accessories together and separated from the wireless NVR accessories. When deciding where to place your WNVR, locate a central spot in your home. By placing it in a central location, the cameras can be mounted within the device's wireless range. Now for the initial setup, it's best to place the WNVR close to your router, and it must be connected to a TV or monitor. Also, although these cameras wirelessly transmit video to the WNVR, they are not battery powered and must be powered using the included power adapters. The cameras have a wireless transmission range of up to 300 feet with direct line of sight. Proper placement of the wireless NVR in your home ensures you achieve maximum coverage. Take note of the types of obstacles that can interfere with the wireless signal. Let's get the wireless NVR connected to your TV or monitor, which must have a minimum resolution of 1080p and an open HDMI port. If your TV or monitor doesn't meet the minimum required resolution, a black screen or a no signal message will be displayed. Using the included HDMI cable, plug one end into the HDMI port on the back of the wireless NVR and the other end into the TV or monitor. Keeping your wireless NVR connected to the internet is optional, but connecting for the initial setup is extremely important. During the initial setup, a connected wireless NVR automatically updates to the most recent software version. Now keep in mind our tech support phone agents cannot assist you unless you're running the latest software version on your WNVR. The WNIP2 series works with our Night Owl Protect firmware and application. Once you create an account, either using the app or the Night Owl Protect website, you can log into your recorder with the same credentials. If you still don't want to connect to the internet, you must manually update the software every time a new version is released. Follow the on-screen instructions to manually update the wireless NVR's firmware. Plug one end of the included Ethernet cable into the LAN port on the back of the WNVR. Plug the other end into your router. Now, if you don't have an open port on your router, you can use a network hub or switch back of the wireless NVR. Attach the antennas to the back of the WNVR. Make sure to attach an antenna to each camera. Before installing the cameras in their final location, it's imperative to test all of them next to the WNVR. The last thing you want is to permanently mount a camera and then realize there's an issue. Plug each camera into a power supply cable and then into a socket, surge protector, or UPS. Make sure the cables are securely connected. When the cameras power up, you will hear a voice prompt letting you know the cameras are in pairing mode. Connect the WNVR's power adapter to the rear of the WNVR and then plug the other end into a power strip, socket, or UPS. Once the wireless NVR is plugged in, the super cool Night Owl logo appears. The startup wizard appears on screen and leads you through the rest of the setup process. Navigate slowly, paying attention to all the on-screen directions. If you don't want to connect to the internet, we recommend doing so for the startup wizard. This way you can use the Night Owl Protect app to create an account, quickly add your device, and check your camera's live view without having to run back and forth to the monitor. Also, when prompted by the startup wizard, log into the WNVR using the username and password you just created for your Night Owl Protect account. The startup wizard searches for and pairs the cameras to the WNVR. If you do not see a camera's live view, click search again. Do not mount a camera unless it has been paired to the WNVR. Finally, let's test the camera's night vision. We can do that by cupping our hands around the camera, and then the camera's live view will turn to black and white. Again, test each camera. For more support videos, quick setup guides, and manuals, go to our support site at support.nightowlsp.com.
www.thinkdigital.com.